Hop. There we go. Oh ho ho, a stream. It's a stream. <gasps> hello, hello, hello. Welcome along, everybody. We're live. We're here. Woo. Excuse me. <laughs> hey. Welcome along. We're going to play some Final Fantasy X today. As... As expected. <laughs> yeah. Not Tidus. Oh, man. It's that meme of, you know, I, I recognize the council has made a decision, but given that it's a dumbass decision, I'm going to ignore it. I wonder why. I wonder why they went with Tidus. Rather than Titus. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I'm sure Square have their reasons, whatever they are. Oh, a correct translation of his Japanese name. Ah, right. Okay, because Titus is a, is a just a name that exists. <laughs> uh. So okay. Yeah, because in Japanese there is no T sound. Not not with a single character anyway. I don't think you can you don't make that. All the all the T consonant sounds like ta T well no no actually no that's not true there is. No 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 actually no it's not ta it is T. That's actually no sorry, I've got it backwards. I do this all the time. I've got it backwards. No, that is that is right, because if you spell it out T I Ti sound in Japanese does sound like T. Tidus, and it would be T dasu. I'm pretty sure. If if that's just a direct transliteration of uh, of of his name. So I suppose. I suppose. <laughs> but Tidus as a sort of as a name that exists, yeah, is is usually pronounced Titus. I don't know. Whatever. It's me! Yeah. <laughs> the only me that actually pronounces it is Kingdom Hearts and it's not consistent there either. Well... <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> I mean, that's probably just, just because the voice actors from Kingdom Hearts just get given the script no direction and then just pronounce it however they would normally pronounce it. <laughs> I would be my guess. Uh, yeah. So anyway, we'll get started with that shortly. But I uh, hope everyone is doing okay out there. Still sort of recovering from yesterday. <laughs> uh, I am okay. I am okay though. Ah. Uh. <laughs> when Final Fantasy was part of Kingdom Hearts. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um. Ah, the narrator that Square hired for the trailers for Japanese pronounced it that way, and they've kept it since. I see. <laughs> uh... Yeah, because if you were yeah, sorry, because yeah, I had it backwards before. If you're gonna, if you were, if you, if you want to say Thai in um, I like Tidus, the the Thai sound is oh, how how would you do that? Yeah, it would be Thai. It would be the it would be the more of a Ta the and E. It would be two separate characters, Thai. Da Su. But if it's just one, if it's just TI, which is. Ah, no, no, no. I was right. I was right. Hold on. I was kind of right. Right, so actually, minor Japanese lesson. I've been doing Duolingo, so I've been trying to figure this. Yeah. Ah, okay. That is what it is then. 
That is Ta'i, yeah. That's Ta'i in Katakana. Ta'i. And it's a long, it's a long... Oh, actually, I see what that is. That's a small E. So yeah, that is combining those two to make a different sound. Yeah, it's a little, a little E. So it's T and that's Da, yeah. Hmm. Actually, that's just that. Hmm. Is that right? Because that should be. Uh. Yeah, Tifa is the same. Yeah. Tida is his, is his Japanese name. Ah! Right, and Tifa is the same. Yeah. Yeah, because you have to combine those two vowels. Those two. Um... I haven't quite gotten to the part. I haven't quite gotten to the the combining stuff uh, where you have the small the small uh, vowel sound, but yeah, that's what you have to do if you want to make a T sound. Because actually, sorry, yeah, T R. Brief <coughs> my minor Japanese lesson, uh, as I understand it. You have five vowel sounds. In Japanese, you have R, E, U, E, and O, and uh, all of the different all of the different characters. Those have their own characters. They're the letters essentially. And then there are variations. Essentially, you take those sounds and you add a consonant, and you get uh, like ta, or you get um, let's see, yeah, ka. Let's go with ka. Ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. And that's its own set of characters, and the same with um, uh, Ma and so on. Uh, ta, on the other hand, it does not go Ta Ti Tu Te To. It goes Ta Chi. To, uh, actually, it goes Ta Chi Tsu. Yeah, Ta Chi Tsu Te To. So there actually isn't uh, like a single T sound. You have to form that by yeah smushing two other sounds together. <laughs> so yeah. Tida. Hmm. And Tifa. Hmm. How do you do? Hold on a second. Ah. How would you do F? How would you do Fa? Ah, you would probably take Hu and small r. That I would bet is how you do that. Because there's no f consonant um, uh, set of things. Anyway, that's how I would assume you, you do that. We're getting there. <laughs> oh, I do need to appease the owl at some point today. I'm, I'm, on, I'm, on, a, I'm on a portion of the uh, Duolingo course that is just, okay, before you can do the next like set of like exercises you need to learn all the you need to do um the practice for the characters which is fine it's just i already i actually already know them <laughs> pretty well and i'm glad i learned them another way from tofugu website because the way duolingo teaches it is terrible anyway anyway brief diversion there about about all of that ah <sighs> so yes Anyway, let's see. Where were we yesterday? Oh yeah, we had a bit of a shorter stream yesterday because I was pretty tired from uh, from excursion. Hey, Linz. Welcome. What's up, sports fans? We did, you know, a fair amount of things still happened yesterday because we got we started out uh, in Guado Salam. Um. Uh, to meet Maester Seymour, who wanted to talk. Uh, you know, wandered about, did a bit of shopping. Mm. Ah, okay. I have to... Okay, sorry. I, I'm, I'm currently trying this as well, so I'm interested in this. But um, how... Where did you... Because, okay. I used 
what really has made Hiragana and Katakana stick for me, I'm still not like perfect on it, but what, what's made it stick for me uh, is not Duolingo, because Duolingo sucks uh, for that part, <laughs> specifically for characters. I don't think it's very good at that. Um, but I used, here we go, Tofugu uh, website to learn the characters. And what that does, their method is to essentially turn each character into like a little pictorial mnemonic and oh my god that works so much better like let me let me actually pop the link in the chat because I, I this they they do have an app but it's iphone only and i'm really annoyed at that <laughs> really pisses me off yeah so you might you might have used this one i don't know but this this is what made it work for me um and because some of the, the things they do are really silly, it actually works better. Like, oh yeah. The character for Sa, uh, which is this, I'll put it in the chat. Uh, the mnemonic, <laughs> it's like, that looks like somebody mixing a salad. Like, <laughs> doing that. I'm like, what? <laughs> but it works. Because it's so ridiculous, it just sticks in your mind. So that that's what happened. I'm glad I did it that way because the way Duolingo tries to teach it is just just not good. Anyway, sorry. Yes, I was doing a recap. Yeah, we were in uh, Guado Salam. Managed to Seymour wanted to chat with Yuna, uh, so we made it to Seymour's place despite his directions. He was going to serve us some steamed hams. Now, we went in there as like a little banquet, you know, we had, you know, one waited around and then Seymour appears and is like, let me show you my holodeck and uh, shows us essentially, yeah, holograms of like, oh, look, it's Xanarkand a thousand years ago and all these things from the past. And OK, essentially his plan is like, you know, we need to bring joy and hope to the peoples of Spira. Which, yes, we do by defeating Sin, but also, if you, Lady Yuna, were to marry me, that would also bring joy to the people of Spira, wouldn't it? And Yuna's like, eh? What? Huh? Hmm? Eh? Everyone else is like, um, that's kind of... No? <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's ah. Uh, hmm. He's like, let's get married, as a sort of like just just to bring. Jo it seems to be just just to to give the people something nice to talk about, which is like and and potentially to build a bridge between the Guado and human peoples, and we also learn that Seymour is actually half human, half Guado. I think his mother was mother was human yeah yeah no no red flags here it's fine <laughs> it's just fine <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, so yeah Yuna for her part yeah uh, is like I I don't know what to say I don't know what to think about this because you know she's on her quest to um, to gather all of the summons and defeat sin and this would kind of be a bit of a detour from that. And but she's like, but maybe he has a point and maybe I just need to do what's best for everybody. And never mind what you actually want. And Titus is just like, what are you what? Huh? Eh? What? Huh? That's kind of everyone's reaction, but Titus is just like, this is stupid. What about what you want? Do you actually even like the guy? And <clears throat> she's like, um, I'm going to, I need to think about it. I need time. And Seymour is like, that's, that is fine. Take all the time that you need. So we've heard his proposal and uh, Yuna is going to think about it. But T Titus is very much the one being like, no, why would you do that? We got to go defeat Sin. That's, that's what we need to do. It's like, okay, well, then Yuna's like, ugh. I need some advice. I need to think. 
we need to go to the far plane, which is uh, nearby to the uh, Guado uh, Salam uh, uh, village. Uh, and on our way there, we learn about the far plane, which is essentially kind of an afterlife. It's where all the um, the fireflies, the souls, uh, go when they die. Uh, when something dies, the the, pie, the the little soul bits come out and they go to the far plane. And in the far plane, you can they those souls and they can recreate images of dead loved ones from your memory. You can see them and talk to them a little bit. And so we go there. Uh, <clears> or <throat> on and Riku wait outside because they're like, no. Oron because he feels like he doesn't belong there. Riku's like, no, I don't don't really want to. <clears throat> it does it is yeah, it does a bit, doesn't it? Red a bit FF8. Um so we go to the um go to the entrance to the far plane. We pop inside to this little outcropping. And we find we see that uh Waka is looking at an image of his uh, brother Chapu. We have some talks with Lulu, learning that the two of them used to be close. And we hear Waka talks to talks to him and is like, you know, hey, I found this guy who look, kind of reminds me of you and I've given up being a Blitzball player to be a Guardian now. And, you know, all of that. <clears throat> and Yuna says... I mean, then, you know, Titus goes to Yuna. We have a talk. Yuna's looking at an uh, image of her parents. And she's like, well, I mean, I think I haven't, if I'm remembering correctly, she's like, well, the two of them talk about what she's going to do. And Titus is just essentially trying to advocate for, like, well, what do you want? You know, doesn't it matter what you, what you want? And Yuna's position is like, I, I need to do what's best for the people of Spira. You know, my... She doesn't outright say this, but, you know, my my feelings are not as important. You know, I need to do what's uh, best for the greater good. Um, which is... Uh, I don't know, yeah. Where, where, is, where is Yuna in all of this, you know? Um, and it's one thing to be to be doing that in sort of trying to defeat the great evil, but this is essentially to do like a bit of PR, <laughs> you know, to to give people something something nice to, to talk about. At least that's what Seymour has said. I don't trust. I don't trust him. I I feel like there's something else going on. But I don't know. and Titus, uh, oh, and she mentions, you know. Maybe you, sh you should try and make Jack appear, you know, and see if you can talk to him. And Titus tries to, but Jack does not appear, which we know is because Jack is sin and isn't actually, or isn't actually dead because he's sin. It's a little bit confusing as to what exactly is going on. But Titus does manage to make an image of his mother appear, and we get another flashback, and we're le learning that he hate one of the reasons he hates Jack. Is because whenever Jack was around, his mum would just ignore Titus, or uh, something like that. Which is, oof. you don't get the impression that Ty that uh, Titus's dad was a good person at all, really. And yeah, and his mum, I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, very dis very maybe not a healthy relationship the two of them had. <laughs> I think. Mm. <laughs> so after all of this, we head back out. <laughs> hey, we head back out. We got an upgrade to one of our weapons during all of that, somehow. Um, Yuna's gone back to speak to Maester Seymour. Uh, we have some more conversations uh, with everyone else, um, particularly with Lulu, who uh, <clears throat> who's, who's being a little bit cryptic, but also 
kind of a little bit like um uh, how best to put it well so at one point she noticed she realizes like okay look don't go falling for Yuna you know you need to be able <laughs> and and Ty's like oh, well uh, a, bit, a bit like that um yeah, I'm trying to remember what it, what it, exactly it was that she said um She was a little bit cryptic about it, to be honest, but... Uh, anyway, <laughs> mummy issues as well. Look, sin is a metaphor for generational trauma, I guess. I don't know. Maybe, actually. Doesn't <clears throat> uh, We go buy, uh, we go buy some potions and some equipment. Because we're going to the Thunder Plains next. Uh, Seymour already left Guado Salam a short while ago, in fact. Uh, and so, talk to Lou, yeah, and then we head out. Oh, yeah, take a brief trip back to the Far Plane to pick up an item from Venus Crest. <laughs> That's what it was, yeah. You want Yuna to marry for love, but not to marry the one. She... Oh, that's right, yes, thank you, Lynn. Yeah, she says. When Yuna does marry, she should marry for love. But if she does do that, I must I will have to object. And Titus is like, huh? And she's like, um I'll <laughs> No, I'm sorry, uh, it's you'll understand later. I was like, What? Will I? Um, it was it was pretty cryptic. I don't know what's going on there. So we'll see. Anyway, with all of that, uh, uh, with all of that uh, done now, it's like okay, let's get back on the road, go to the next temple to find the next summon. Like all this marriage stuff, think about it. But we have we have to try and defeat Sin. So back on the road, uh, which means going through the Thunder Plains, where yeah. Oh yeah, the, uh, right, the briefing. Seymour's dad made a brief appearance. That's right. Yeah, um, Maester Jiskel, as we left the far plane, Maester Jiskel kind of like tried to push his way out and Yuna had to send him back in and we're like, what the heck is that all about? Like, ball? Oh. Weird. It's, it's very unclear. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're back on the road on the Thunder Plains. We take a we we run through there. We learn about dodging lightning bolts, which I'm not do, not doing the dodging 200 lightning bolts challenge yesterday, and I don't think I'm doing it again today. My handy dandy walkthrough has not mentioned it yet, which is good because <laughs> I think we'll, we'll I think we're going to come back here later to do that. Yeah, they said just girls like hey, it's a ghost. It's like hmm, I wonder. Um, <clears throat> unfinished business. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think the guide will later on. It will recommend coming back because we can get uh, a weapon or an item that gives us that makes sure we don't have any encounters, which is which will be great for that because the encounter rate in the Thunder Plains is really high for some reason. And so yeah, after dodging a bunch of things and you know picking up some items and doing a bunch of battles, we arrive at the rest stop. Uh, Riku insists on going into the rest stop because she's terrified of lightning. So we do, we do uh, the the gang reluctantly does rest there, <clears throat> and that's where I called it for yesterday's stream. So there you go. Some some very yeah some odd like marriage proposals and. I don't know. The thing, the thing about Mr. Seymour is he's he's not been particularly shady so far, but he just gives off a lot of villain vibes, you know. Um, and so I'm just waiting for the <coughs> like the the reveal of why he wants to marry Yuna. It's like, is it so that 
distracts her so she can't defeat Zin, or or does he want to like take her power somehow? I who knows. Oh yeah, he did also show us a, a, a hologram of Yuna Leska, for who is uh, who Yuna is named after, who defeated Sin many years ago, and how she had to give up, uh, or she she married someone else as well, and then so it's a little a little manipulative. Yeah, hmm. Hmm. I don't trust him. And to be fair, a lot of the other party members are also like the vibes are off with him. Something something weird is going on. But we don't know what it is. More will be revealed in time, I suspect. All right, <clears throat> let's play some games. <sighs> there we go. All right, so. We're back in the Thunder Plains. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah, we literally just went in here. I haven't done any of the other stuff. You know resting. Go away. It's not easy being a guardian to a summoner so young. <laughs> you like th <laughs> Oran's like 35. Anyway. Are you that scared? <laughs> yeah, she When can't. I was little, a fiend attacked me while I was swimming at the beach. My brother tried to beat it back with a spell. Oh. Ah, it was a thunder spell. Ah, Ouch. I've been scared of lightning ever since. Mm, yeah, that, that'll do it. But it can be effective. Magic is effective against marine fiends. Ah. My brother said that too. Hmm. You should learn some spells too. Ah! I mean, we can make that happen. Hmm. Maybe later. Nice to see you again. Welcome to the Rin Travel Agency. And you again. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yuna looked preoccupied. Was it because of Jiskel? Maybe. I wonder what's wrong with Yuna. I don't know. It might have something to do with the marriage proposal she got out of the blue, like. Five minutes ago. I what? What? Punishment for my deeds. Eh? Eh? And his mother left him. You know, you watching TV? What's going on? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, he dropped yes. this. He dropped that. Right, just go left that uh, behind. I, I, well, it's nothing really. I, I just uh, smooth, tied to smooth. Um, uh, ah, screw it. Uh, uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have uh, come in. Uh, 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 hey, wasn't that that? <laughs> okay, uh, we're just gonna go right. Auto guy. The sphere is his will. Ah. It says, take care of my son. Huh. It says, help me uh, His up. son? Seymour? Oh! Can't get anything past you, Titus. Well, I know one way to take care of him. I'm sorry. Oh, not like that. Okay. Huh? Huh? What? Nice going, Titus. <laughs> what? Cause it's like, what the hell are you doing, man? What do you think you're up to? You know, you know, was acting funny. Yeah, so, so. yeah. <laughs> She'll tell 
us when she's ready, so hold your chocobos till then. <laughs> Waka activates Big Brother at mode. Huh. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Although, kinda. Huh. Hmm. Take care of my son. Whatever happens, we're still Yuna's guardians. Yep, pretty much. Yeah, I know. Then let's just go on with the journey, huh? All right. We're not through the Thunder Plains yet, so be prepared, all right? Okay. Kimari? Hmm. It's not stopping, is it? Don't tell me you were hoping it would. Ah! Fine, stay here. <laughs> Fine, stay. But you didn't have to say it like that, you know. Yeah, Walker does see his little brother in tights. Yeah. Or something. You know, try to cheer me up. Nah, Oron doesn't. Just don't get me at all, do you? Let's not. Hey, for... are you listening? Let's not forget that Riku was part of the Albed crew who tried to kidnap Yuna uh, fairly recently. I'm so... not scared! Mm, I'm not scared, you hear? Yeah, it's the thing. He gets you, he just doesn't care. Oh. D smile! What are you doing? Hey, stop that man! Hold on, can I just pop back in here? I want—I actually wanted to do some shopping. One second. What's up? Uh, yeah, I have a, I have a bunch of gill, so I can afford uh, some of these. Uh, that's actually a better version of the lightning shield that I currently have. Um, yes, yellow ring. Yellow arm guard. Don't need that. Proof. Uh, yeah, yellow bracer. There we go. Again, it's a bit of an upgrade. Uh Ooh. why can I buy like how oh, maybe I can no I didn't I didn't do an off off stream grind I genuinely I just made a bunch of gill from all the fights yesterday that's why um let me just buy some maps. I, I feel like I'm going to be able to use those for something. Let me get some grenades as well. Let me get like three grenades. Mm, that's fine. Okay, I, need, I need four of those. Actually, I need two of those. Duh! Okay. Oh, actually, it recommends I can go this way. Hold on. Ah. Wait, hold on. Ah, so if I go around this way. Aha! I see. Ah, there's a chest with an axe potion in it. Okay. Right, because. Oh! Uh, it's fine. Hello! Um. Yeah. Soft. Okay. Hey. Uh. Take care of that one, please. Boink! Ooh, 
Oh, right. Um, Yuna? There we go. Can you, can you heal Kamari, please? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was the... Alright. <clears throat> there we go. Get stoned. Alright. <clears throat> oh! Wait, Kamari got stoned. Oh, Waka learned a bunch of overdrive modes. What the heck? Oh, come on, he didn't get any AP because he was stoned. Hold on. Step! It's fine. Uh, okay. You know. Wait, he's not still stoned, is he? No, okay, okay. Oh, that's funny. Petrification wears off after um, after battle now. Never used to do that. Okay, is there anything I need to worry about? No. Okay. There's there's a safe sphere over there. Oh boy. Oh. Boy. Ooh. Okay. Up. Get Titus in. Hmm. What can we do? We can do... Stone breath. Nice. That petrifies all enemies as well. That's pretty good. Oh, two ability spheres. Someone got a level. Kamari. Alright. More hit points for you. Okay, uh, do I wanna... Yeah. Uh, let's change formation. I mean, Waka's been very good. Let's do this for now. Alright, off we go. Whoop. Burn up, burn up, burn up. Actually, sorry, I need Auron to deal with the thing on the left here. Ah! There we go. Slots. Right, we want the water. That's not... Oh. Oh, okay. Yep, two out of three. <coughs> okay, that's a little overkill, but it's fine. It does uh oh, right. Uh Lulu. War terror! War terror! Works every time. Ba -ba -da. Mm. Okay. Uh, move. Mm. Do you know what? Yeah, let's give you a magic node. Why not? Uh, Waka. Alright, move down here. Speed. Uh, Oron. Right, I was gonna send Oron down here for a bit of a boost to his, uh, whatever. Okay. Just 
a straight shot to that same sphere. Whoop. Backgrounds on the sphere because, like, is this kanji? <laughs> Can I read this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, overkill. Nice. Up. Oh. What does Luna Curtain do? Oh, it casts Shell. Okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, you know what I should, uh... I keep forgetting, I have dragon scales, which I think I can use to teach things to summons. I should maybe, maybe look at that. Ba -ba 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 oh, four ability spheres? Don't mind if I do- Ah, son of a- how dare you? <laughs> Alright, Riku. Oh, this is perfect actually. Uh, ability Sphere. Luck. Excellent. What does that do? It just raises luck. Yeah, okay. So, eons. How do I... wait. Oh no, uh... No. Um, oh god, I'm trying to remember how I... How do I teach you things? Crap, where is it? No. Eons. X is display abilities. How do I ah? How do I teach you things? Crap! I don't remember. Uh, okay, I won't worry about it for now. Let's just save. Uh, keep going. Something to tell you. Oh, here. yeah. We're almost out of here. Let's go. I have to say it now. You can wait. Over like, there. <clears throat> yeah. Let's get. Let's get out of the rain at least. Come on. Yeah. Somehow, my bad feelings always come true. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. I've decided to marry. <sighs> I thought so. <laughs> Yuna! No! But, but why? Why'd you change your mind? For Spira's future and Yevon's unity. 
I thought it would be the best thing to do. No, that's not good enough. Yeah. Huh? Wait, is it? Is it because of Lord Jiskel? Yeah, cuz yeah, hey, why? That's fear. Show me. Hmm. I can't. I must speak to Maester Seymour first. I truly am sorry, but You know this, this isn't is, <sighs> It is a personal matter. You're kidding, huh? Yeah, what the hell? As you wish. All right. Mm. I'm sorry. Just one thing. Uh, I won't quit my pilgrimage. Mm hmm. Then it is fine. <laughs> Wait a minute, Oren. You don't care. I mean, you're not going to stop her. No, I'm not. Hmm. As long as she is willing to face sin, all else is her concern. Hmm. That is a summoner's privilege. As long as she journeys. Hmm. I suppose so. But that's... <laughs> Yuna, just one question. Hmm. Can't you just talk to Maester Seymour? But that's... stupid. <laughs> you got to marry him? Yeah. Don't know. But I think it is the right thing to do. Hmm. Okay, I guess. <laughs> Uni? Uni. Quiet! <laughs> Shut up! I wish we could help somehow. Some way. It's funny it's how we... okay. I'll be fine. Riku's been with us for like five minutes and she's like, no, we're besties. She says, I'm sorry. <clears throat> he says, it's fine. She's willing to face sin. She's privileged. Hmm. I didn't understand. But somehow, yeah. I felt like I didn't belong. But if I didn't belong with them, I'd be stuck in Spira. Alone. Hmm. And being alone in that place, well, I didn't want to think about it. Huh. Next, we're going to Makalania Temple. Right. Yuna can talk with Seymour there. I, I we suppose. We guardians will wait until they're done. And plan our next move. Hmm. Understood. I suppose. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I had a feeling she was going to accept. You know, she's very much about at least what she thinks is duty and uh, service rather than uh, doing what uh, <clears throat> what she wants I guess Farewell. which is one thing no but Let's go. definitely feels like she's being you know Manipulated into this, right? Because uh, Seymour has just said, "Yes, this is just what's best for uh, for Spitra." It's like <laughs> this is why every adventuring party needs a world-weary she-they lesbian in her fifties to give perspective and have long one-on-one -on -one chats <laughs> in situations like I mean, wouldn't uh, you know? Would be a bad idea. Everyone, focus on the enemy. Thanks, Lulu. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Ba 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 na 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 na. Uh, okay. Oron. Still need another one. It's a two level detour, but that's fine. Um, where are you going? You're going this way. Who else we got? Is that it? Yes, 
that was it. That was it, it turns out. Uh, there's bound to be something in this little hollow. Is this the hole? Because I know there's somewhere where there's a crate to where there's a lot of lightning strikes. I feel like it's this, isn't it? It might not. It might not be. Not that that matters at the moment. Oh, hello. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. -oh. Um. Ice ball. Well, it takes care of one of them. Uh, or on. Um, power break probably is a good idea. Okay. Um. Yuna, get in here. There we go. Just deal with that. Blah blah blah. I wonder if this can get... Will it get turned to stone? Dark Buster. Ooh. Boink! Oh, oh, I see. Right. Uh, I remember doing okay, but yeah. Power Break was the move. For sure. I am going to bring Titus out again. Oh, no, that was a mistake. Aha! <laughs> Worker with the... God, the stone ball is so ridiculous. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on it, to be fair. Ah! Um, Yuna! Healing, please. Uh, move. I have magic defense spears and luck spheres to use it, so. Okay. Yuna's going this way. Use a mana sphere. More magic defense. Waka. Go up here. Kimari. Move up here. More defense. I think that, oh yeah, Auron. Okay, now I can pop Auron down here. And we can use a Mana Sphere. Another Mana Sphere. And a Speed Sphere. Wow! Let's just keep going. <laughs> oh, another one. Okay. Auron! Um, 
let's get. I'm gonna say. Low, low. So, how shall we do this? That's still pretty effective. Haha. <laughs> Oh, hold on a second. Dark attack? Oh, also just turn into stone. There, that, that'll work. Ah, right. Farewell. That's how it's done. Hmm. <laughs> A glorious arm guard. That son of a. All right, uh, let's get you back out of here. There we go. All right, let me check what reflex does. Hold on a second. Ability. Lulu has reflex. Ah, raise evasion. Okay, okay, okay. Um. So yeah, did anyone remember how to teach Eon's abilities? Ah, like this. That's how. I figured it out. <laughs> Don't worry about it, I figured it out. <laughs> ah. Te Ooh. Teach Shell with Lunar Curtains. That's pretty good. Oh, and I can teach it Waterra with Dragon Scales. Hmm. Man, I don't know what to teach him. I'm not using a lot of... Hmm. Ixion has a lot of MP. Hmm. Okay. Something to consider. Also, let me look at Waka's Overdrive. So what have we got? We've got Stoic when- so it's when they take damage, when they damage an enemy, when allies take damage, and when you defeat an enemy. Huh. I imagine it has to charge up- so, presumably, Slayer charges up more. Oh no, I already have- no, oh, Warrior is damage an enemy, and Slayer is defeat. What is it set at at the moment? It's currently set at Slayer, isn't it? So maybe if I set it to... Mm. Oh, okay, that's fine. Does anyone else have any other overdrive modes? No. So? Oh no, Titus does actually. Titus has... Uh... Yeah, let's set Titus to Warrior mode. Hmm. Okay. Don't! Hey, wait, there's a chest over there. Remedy. Okay. Bat, bat, bat. No, you again. Bring it on. Okay, ice ball again. Well, that didn't help. Uh, power break. Let's see what. Steel. Light curtain. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Walk is confused. Hey. Oh no. All right, get out of there. Get out of there, Rick. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Uh, we need to stop. Stop being confusion. There we go.
damn it. Nice. Okay. Figure it. Yeah, move on. More hit points for Waka. And we're close to getting this. Dark Buster. Cool. Um okay, Yuna. Right here. Right. Uh, Riku. Down here. That more agility? Yeah. Ah, and down here is more magic. And also spare change? <laughs> spare a coin? Haha! -ha! Dodged! I knew I was going to get bolted as soon as I came out of the menu. I knew it. Who can relax at last? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Hold on a sec. Oh yeah, we need to. We do need to heal. Uh, yeah, Riku got pretty badly <laughs> hurt there. Ah. Uh. Alright, let's go. This is nice though. I like the, these You're woods. worried about Yuna. Yeah. Of course I'm worried about her. That's what part of the job, thinking? really. Mm. The simplest answer would be She isn't. In exchange oh. for agreeing to marry him. Right. She hopes to negotiate with Seymour. N negotiate how? Negotiate what? D thank you. I wonder. <laughs> huh? What? All by herself? <laughs> She's strong, but Seymour is the better negotiator. Negotiating what? Well then, why don't we do something What about are we talking about? Yuna wants it this way. I just don't get it. Doesn't she trust us? On the contrary. <laughs> she doesn't want us caught up in whatever it is she's planning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Titus, but you that didn't makes think. Me worry even more. She could just tell us. Mm. That's the way she is. She's not like that. Serious to a fault hmm. and doesn't ask for help. Hmm. <laughs> You're probably right. Yuna's easy to read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is. But hard to guard. Hmm. Stand by her. Always. Interesting. <laughs> She's up to something. <sighs> <Slow pull. laughs> Sorry. It's funny how calm I was. Maybe it was because I'd realized that Yuna wasn't marrying Seymour for love. Not really. It was just her duty, money. Uh, something she had to do before returning to her pilgrimage. <sighs> That's what I kept telling myself anyway. Mm. And well, maybe. I realized that Yuna and I'd never, you know. <laughs> Yuna, let's go. Hmm. Listen, Red, Titus doesn't think very much. Boop, 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 boop. Time to save. Hmm. 
Ah, okay. The ceiling fair should go the other way, but no, I think I need to go this way. Okay. This is, I like this area though, this is cool. This, this forest and big trees and plants and everything. The design of this place is very nice. Oh, hello. Please hurry to the Makalania Temple. Very well. Oh, hello. Oh, those are what? <laughs> there you go. Um, hold on. That's, those are water elementals. We don't want to use this. Lightning strike. Do I have anything? Uh, hmm. That will do. Casting Waterra as well. Oh boy. Okay. Need to get uh, okay. sword play, spiral cut. Let's go. Whoa! It's not great. Uh, Yuna. Yuna, please. Uh, okay. I know I do have a bunch of antidotes, but, you know, this only cost me MP. Oh, no. I know. Okay, we're fine. Uh, time to get Lulu in here, though. So we need Thundara. That's what we Don't need. Don't look so shocked. Oh, really? Really, Yuna? Pun, sorry, Lulu, puns. Uh, I'll have Riku do some, some thievery. Fish scales. Kamari? You never know. Immune to being turned to stone. Alright, fine. But not immune to lightning! Water blade? Okay, hold on a second. Um... Power sphere... Oh no, uh... Riku? Titus as well. Oh, there's ability down there. Slow. Ooh. It kind of strikes me that Titus is a bit of a red mage. I think. More so than like uh, Oron. Oron is. Oron is definitely. What was the one from. He's like a. Knight or something. Whatever it is. He can guard, you know. Um, oh, right. I was going to do some different equipping because. Ah, right. This, is, this has all of the wrong wards. Do you have a water ward? Actually, you don't. Can I make anything into a water ward? Probably one of these Seeker's armlets. Hold on. Uh, customize. Seeker's armlet. Seeker's armlet. Not that one. The other one. <laughs> right, official class is warrior and samurai. True, true. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, no, I need... Don't I have fish scales? Oh. I thought I had fish... No, wait, 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 wait. I could have sworn you just stole some fish scales. Yeah, there's two of them. So why can't... Hold on. Okay, I'm confused now. Why can't I make... Hmm, okay. Alright, let's just change out people's gear. Ah, uh, that's not gonna help. Ooh, the glorious arm guard. Ooh, plus 10% HP. Well, we'll take that. Um, I don't think I have anything with Water Ward, actually. Uh, Okay, then I need to swap out... Oh, see, that has huge... Right. Uh, let's get something with a booster strength, then. Or possibly fire strike. And... Actually, yeah, fire and ice strike. Let's do that. Uh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. What do I get? Uh, okay. Water strike, not, <laughs> not what we want here. That'll have to do for now. Off we go. Oh, chest. Some gill. <laughs> nice. Oh. Wait, hold on. Is there a sneaky hidden thing? There is according to my according to the guide. Hold on a second. Yep. What does the scouter say? Oh, piercing weapons, hard shell. Okay. Uh, Titus, get in. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, class very flexible. Thinking isn't solving anything. <laughs> Titus just like, just don't think. I mean yeah, play to your strengths, Titus. Alright, we can get an ability now. Dark Buster! Noise. Okay, there is actually supposedly something... Oh, is this... is it in here? Hold on a second. Oh, wow! <laughs> Sleepy Kate Sith. Hold on, hold on. Uh, no, no. Uh, ah, it has Sleep Touch. That's interesting. I mean, I like the magic boost that we currently have, but sleep touch. Hmm. Sleepy. EP. Oh, hello? We're wasting our time. Uh, uh, hold on. Sorry, maybe next time. Oh, almost. Oh, so that's essentially a better uh, chance of inflicting darkness. Oh, also it gets turned to stone. You know that that also works. Enchanted rod. 
Hold on a second. First of all, move. More hit points. Enchanted Rod. Nope. It's not as good. It's just not as good. Alright. around for any like secret hidden things. Another one. Hmm. Not sure what happened there. steal from it. High potion. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Just keep moving. Giant roots and everything. Very nice. Ah, okay. Hold on a sec. Um, yoink. Works every time. Riku. More MP? Oh, I see a chest. There we go. Okay, Phoenix down. Sure. Oh, okay. Oh, I think he got frozen. I don't think he got turned to stone. Hmm. Well, Yuna can maybe sort that out. No, actually, he did get turned to stone. Just didn't look like it. There we go. Ah, Titus has learned Slayer. Uh, Titus needs healing. Yeah. Interesting. Hold on a second. Sphere grid first. Hmm. Oh, we can get an ability. Slow. Uh, and... 
strength. Oh, what's down here? Drain. Ah. I see. Okay. Is there anyone else? No. Okay. Uh, and Titus got a shield. Hmm. Continue. Oh! Oh, it's this guy! Bartello! Oh. You. Have you seen Donna? Uh, Donna? No. I can't see I have. Nope. What's up? We got separated on the way here. Hmm. Damn it all! I've got to find her! Huh. Calm down. But. If anything happens to her... Hmm. Running around in a panic is not going to help. Oh, right sorry. now, you have to keep cool and search. Ooh, excuse me. Guard your emotions, then guard your summoner. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's a dramatic zoom. You're right. Oh my god. Shall we search? No, I... Taken up enough of your time. Uh, Thank you, Sir Aaron. Right. Bye. What's up? Oh, I just wanted to wish him good luck. Hmm, did you? Don't know about that. Hey, listen, Nati. I'm enjoying I'm enjoying ten. Some of the, some of the storytelling is a bit weird, but I'm having a good time. Oh God! Uh, hold on, I want to get Kimari in here. I just, I just want to know. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Oh, here we go. Aqua Breath. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, vulnerable to threaten. Darkness and silence work well. Well, alright. There we go. Well, uh, it kind of worked. Bronzo Rage! Aqua Breath? I think that's, that's what I just learned. Let's throw it right back. Yeah, could have been a lot better. Huh. Okay. Yuna, you're in. I need you to stop, uh, stop Waka from dying, please. There we go. Lulu, you're also back. We need something like Blizzara, I don't know. Oh! That's better. That also works. Send them into a bunch of triangles. Works every time. Onyx arm guard. Okay, uh, we sphere grid. Magic defense. Okay. Oh, there is a thing. Okay, hold on. Ah. 
Ah. Oh, hello. A butterfly with rainbow wings will lead the way to secret things. Approach the butterfly of many hues and its red and blue brethren shall appear. <laughs> Seven blue butterflies beware the reds where they call powerful fiends when threatened. They disappear after a certain time. Try catching the blue ones while avoiding the red ones. Okay, hold on. Let me check what the guide says about this. Ah. Oh. Ah. Failing this minigame throws you into a battle against a fairly challenging uh, fiend that you can't. and you can't use the reward until much later. Welcome to attempt if you prefer, but it is not necessary or recommended at this stage of the game. So we can. we can just kind of. we can. we can ignore this for now. Ah, yeah, another. Yeah, another another one. We, another one. I think we might want to come back to later. Yeah. All right. That's fine. That's fine by me. Oran has learned the way of the warrior. My turn now. Oh yeah. Oof. I think. Yeah. Oron's got quite a few moves before we get to anything. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Oh, uh, and yeah, uh, you know, if you if you wouldn't mind. Alright. Bye. I said I do really like how this place looks, but man, this is this really is just like. Wait, hold on. Oh, sorry. That's a dead end. <laughs> Why can't you use the prime sub? I don't know. Slot subs are still fine. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do whatever. Oh boy. Oh, the snake does Thundara. Ooh. That's fine. There we go. Thank you, Lucinati, for the 39 months of Prime, or with, with the Prime. Figured it out.
Nice. There we go. Titus's sphere grid, that's what I want. Okay. Uh, wait, where am I? Oh, no. Why could I not find the on ramp? <laughs> I don't know why. Mm. Okay, well, you're not poisoned, so that's fine. Alright, Waka. In here. Deal with this bug. Yeah, there we go. See how you like that. Mm -hmm. Ah, very effective. Right, and that's immune to being turned to stone. That's fine, we just blast it with lightning. And that takes care of that. To magic defense. Oh, there's a brief diversion over there for more hit points, defense, and accuracy, which is not bad. And then we go around and down to get bio. Ooh. Oh, wait, hold on. Bio is usually pretty good. Oh! Secret treasure chest. Let's get in here. My turn now. Buff everybody. See ya. See ya. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. Mari? Wait, hold on. Waka. Ah, cool. We get... What do we get? We get... Drain. Now Waka can drain it from downtown. Okay, what's going on? Okay, I can't go that way. That's a level 3 lock. I do not have a level 3 key sphere. I think. No, I'm pretty sure I don't. Hmm. 
Unit is running a little low on MP. Hopefully we find a rest stop soon. Ooh. Shiny. <laughs> yeah, Waka well, can now redirect excess rainfall into the sea with a purpose-built system. Obviously. Oh, the blurriness is really bad here. What the heck? Why does it do that? Alright, Bushido. No mercy. Uh, yeah, we should. I, I need to look for a patch for this. I think we looked at this before, and I and I was like, oh, I should do something. And then it, then it wasn't too bad for a while. Um, but now it's it's back in sort of full force, so maybe maybe there is something we can do. Super easy to fix? Ah, I like to hear that. There we go. Ah, okay. It looks like it's like not snapping out of it when it comes. Oh, Lulu has learned more of drive modes. Right. Oh, depth of field. Ah. Okay. Remake just removes it entirely? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Alright, so what do I need to do then? I guess I can, I can probably turn that off in settings somewhere. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, the PS2 was built in a very particular way. <laughs> no worries, Lem. Appreciate it. I'll just keep going for now. It's fine for the moment. I think we're almost at the... Yeah, here we go. Save sphere. Nice. Actually, this is probably a good time for me to take a quick break. Uh... And I can maybe try and uh, fix this up in the in the in the interim. Okay. Oh, break time. I'm gonna throw us to the break screen, and we'll be back in a few minutes. I'll run some ads and do the usual thing. We'll be up.
Nope, hot mic. Thank you. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> I return. Hello. Any luck with that? Uh... <laughs> All right, I'll keep going for now. It's not too big of a problem. Uh, okay, so we've made it here. Oh, hello. Welcome. Holiday prices on all items in celebration of Maester Seymour Guado's wedding. Too expensive, you think? Mm hmm. How about this? That's more like it. <clears throat> Sonic Steel! 
Rod of Darkness, Ice Ball, Shimmering Blade. I already have one. Force Knuckles. Ooh, it's pretty good. White Bangle, Blue Armlet. Uh, let's get. What does this have? First Strike. Yeah, we can have Sonic and Knuckles. We do not yet have Dante from the Devil May Cry series, but... There you go, Sonic Steel. And Force Knuckles. Force Knuckles to do what? And I think I want this blue armlet as well. Yeah, I don't want anything else at the moment. I'll go with these prices for a... Yeah. Welcome to... Uh, oh, we can buy high potions. Let me get three. No. No? Okay. Let me get one. Let me get a two of those. You got it, Lamb? Excellent. I'm just going to go save. You got it. I can I can tinker around and uh, we can we can fix it. Hmm. Excuse me. Still a little bit tired today. The excursion yesterday really wiped me out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Back to the main menu. Well, back to the booth at least. All right, so we got to quit out. Oh. Uh. I mean to actually close the whole thing. Okay. Properties. Graphics. Where are we going? Uh huh. I'm with you so far. <laughs> Rendering? Ah, toggle. Manual hardware render fixes. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Okay, let's have a look. Hardware fixes. Yaha. Uh -huh. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah. Skip draw range. Ah, uh, default is zero. Uh, and set to. Wait. Hold on. Oh, start and end. Oh, zero to one. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. I believe I have done this. That should fix it. Okay, let me just check that uh, that is saved. Okay, okay. Let's go. Ha! Huh. Manual fixes are enabled. Automatic fixes were not applied. Round sprite and auto flush. I think that's fine. I don't think that's a problem. It should be fine, unless it isn't. Let me just back out here. I'm just gonna wander around for a, for a minute. I just want to get into a combat. <laughs> yeah, the original settings is easy enough. You just set it to zero. You set it back to default. Yeah, this looks fine. Yeah, I think it is turned off.
Ooh, Wakulan Tactician. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah. This is not drawing depth of field at all. <laughs> yep. Which is fine, because it doesn't need to, because it's kind of weird. Right, the skip draw range. Gotcha. And yeah, I imagine zero, yeah, one is infinity, essentially. So just like, don't do it. Okay. Well, if there are any issues, then we'll, uh, wait, hold on. Oh, a primer. Okay. Uh, then, then we'll set it back the way it was. So far, so good, though. So, what does tactician do? Oh, when a stasis attack succeeds. Interesting. Okay. All right. Wait. It is here, somewhere. Mm -hmm. What's here? Something you should see. But, Sir Oren. It won't take long. <laughs> I'm just gonna stare at this tree. Oh boy! Ah. Huh. All right then. <laughs> Takes care of that. Wait for me. Hmm. This place. It's just water, isn't it? <laughs> this is what spheres are made of. Water? It absorbs oh. and preserves people's memories. Oh. Uh... What's that? It's a boss fight by the sound of it. Fiends are also attracted to these places. Okay, immune to sensors. Fire! Okay, that was the wrong one. <laughs> okay. Let's magic break it. Tide. Ah. Okay, let's get you out of here. Lulu. That's what we like to see. Elemental shift. It's now... Looks like it's blue, so I'm gonna null tide again. We're gonna get let's get Riku in here. Can you steal anything? Ether! Ooh. Okay, I think that's a physical attack. Mm. 
We'll find out with how effective this is. Oh no. Oh. It absorbs all spells except its one weakness. It's immune to oh. Ah, okay. We're gonna cheer. Okay, we definitely need to keep Lulu out though. What are you doing? Ah, okay, retaliate. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, it's using fire, so what do we want? We want ice. Ah, that's not very helpful. Elemental shift. Yeah, summon's not going to be a good idea here. Uh, so we want null frost. Yeah, null frost. It also just does physical attacks as well. Ah, you know, overdrive mode healer. I think I know what that will do. Okay, we want. No, no, don't want that. We want fire strike. There's a little bit. Elemental shift. Okay. Thunder, okay. Uh, thunder and water are opposites. There we go. Elemental shift. What are we dealing with? Okay, it's still thunder. Heal Lulu. Oh, it's thunder. If it's doing thunder, then... Okay, I gotta rotate the right stick. Thunder. Or water. Water fury. Or water fury. Okay, right stick. Okay. I mean, I rotated it a bunch. Oh, that'll do. Okay, what are we dealing with? Again, still thunder, okay. It has not Whoa! <laughs> okay. Um Actually wait, I might have used that wrong, hold on. We need to keep we need to keep um I actually really need to keep Lulu alive. Okay. 
Then yourself. Okay. What error? Boom. Elemental shift? Alright. Now what? Blizzard, okay. Nope. Blizzard. That means we want to use Null Frost. We want to use Fire Up. Let's go. Can Waka do anything here? We can silence attack, see if that helps. Oh, it's immune to silence. Of course it's immune to silence. Alright. Heal. A little bit. Oh god, it's the big slam. Ooh, ouch. Have a high potion, Walker. Yeah, I think we're still on fire, aren't we? Or I, I still need to use fire. I think this is. Yes, this is correct. Okay, good. Oh, and there we go. We got there. All right. Success. Yay. There we go. <laughs> nice. Oh. A thing. Jack Sphere. Wait, what is that doing there? Oh, look at that. Level 2 Key Sphere and an Ice Claw. Don't mind if I do. Whoa, this is old. Don't know if you can play it back. Hmm. Jacked. Left it here ten years ago. Oh, that's why you came down here. <gasps> huh? Play it back. Mm-hmm. Alright, hold on just a second. What are you taking? Well, you said it was gonna be a long trip. Hmm. We'll be seeing a lot of neat things, right? So I thought I'd record it all in this, <laughs> to show to my wife and kid, you know. This is no pleasure cruise. Hey, Braska. Uh. Ain't this supposed to be a grand occasion? We're the cheering fans, the crying women. Oh my god. This is it. Too many goodbyes. People think twice about leaving. Hmm. <laughs> if you say so. Well, it better be a lot more colorful when we come back. Hmm. A parade for Braska, vanquisher of sin. Yeah, I don't know about that, dude. <laughs> we should go. Day will break soon. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Oren, could you stand closer to it? <laughs> get, get in the shot. There we go. Good. That should do it. I feel like this is post. This is like ten years ago, relative to us now, because that's what Yuna's been saying about Jack as well. you should take one too. It'll make a great gift for. And Braska is Yuna's uh, dad. I suppose. So this would this would make sense. We shouldn't be wasting our time like this. Maybe I don't know. The hurry, man. But also, Oron is dressed differently, and he was. Ah. Because Oran doesn't have the, the collar and the shades, which he did when What's he was in Xanarkand a thousand years ago. Some pleasure cruise. What's going on? I think there's more. I'm confused. 
We're watching some home movies. Hey, if you're sitting there watching this, it means you are stuck in Spira like me. Hmm. You might not know when you'll get back home, but you better not be crying. <laughs> Although I guess I'd understand. But you know what? There's a time when you have to stop crying and move on. You'll be fine. Remember. You left that for Tyler. My son. And well. <laughs> uh, never mind, I'm no good at these things. Mm. Nope. Anyways. I believe in he you. Doesn't say it. Be good. Yeah, I don't think Jack. The thing about Jack is. Goodbye. Uh, see, he says goodbye. I believe in you. He said, "I believe in you." More than he ever did to Titus. More he than sounded ever. almost serious. Yeah. But it was too late. He didn't say it to his face. He was serious. Jack had already accepted his fate. Mm. His fate. To turn into Jack to, to become sin. Come on. He was always talking about going home to Xanarkand. Hmm. That's why he took all those pictures. To show them to you when he returned. Hmm. But as he journeyed with us and came to understand Spira and Braska's resolve, it happened gradually. Hmm. But Jack changed. Here we go, here we go. He decided he would join Braska in his fight against sin. Hmm. So then he gave up going home? That was his decision. I guess I understood. My old man, he huh. knew there was no way back home. Back to Xanarkand. Hmm. He wanted to go home, but he knew he couldn't. He couldn't go on until he accepted it. Besides, hmm. even if he had found a way back, I don't think he would have left his friends behind before their journey was complete. Right. All right. Let's go, guys. Maybe I had to start accepting my own fate. Ah, okay. Spheres that document Jack's journey are hidden all over Spira. Defeating the Spheromorph has unlocked the seals that once bound the spheres. Find them! Oh. Okay. Ah. Overdrive Shooting Star. Oh, and we got a bunch of sphere grid things we can do. Hold on. Hmm. I'm starting to get a theory in my head about Auron and what he's up to and what's going on. I'll just let me I'll just do sphere grid first. Because we got a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, no, that's... What is that? Is that level... It's level three. I can't... I can't open that. I can go over here. Oh, uh... Points. Yeah, hold on. I just need to... I just... I just need to do this first so that I just get it done. Uh, uh, oh, I have realized I could go down here as well and up this way. Yeah, it doesn't matter that much. It's fine. Okay. Uh, oh, I already activated that one, right? This is why I need I need to think <laughs> uh, to do this. Spare change. Uh, no, do not exit the menu. Uh, power sphere. Okay, Titus. Oh, and a speed sphere as well for this one. Okay. Anyone else? No, I think that's it. So what I'm thinking, and again, this is just me theorizing. This is not only uh, me. This is not only. This is not you know. 
Don't want any confirmation one way or the other from the people in the know. But it definitely seems like... I think Auron went back... Auron found a way back into Xanarkand to, to get Tidus. For Jekt, to save to save Tidus. Or something like that. Because the... Auron we see in the recording is clearly younger, doesn't have the scar, doesn't have the glasses and the collar and everything. The, the scar is the big one. Which is how he looked when he appeared in Xanarkand at the beginning of the game, when he when he goes and he brings Tidus with him. So I think Jekt found a way back to that to that version of Xanarkand. And he went to save or because Sin attacks Xanarkand, kills everybody, and he went back there to save Tidus for Jekt. That's what I think. That's my that's my theory. Mm. What you, what you got, Red? What what are you cooking? <laughs> There's also some other stuff about Jack's fears in a second that I'll need to need to take care of. Oh, oh, that or Oron hasn't done that yet. I see. That would be interesting. I don't know. That that could be possible. Could go either way on that, yeah. Hmm, that would be interesting. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so there is a thing here. So I'm just I'm cuz I'm just checking um because at this point we've unlocked uh Jack spheres which give Auron different um uh stuff uh different overdrives and some of them are hard to find and get blocked off later so one thing it suggests is backtracking to get uh a bunch of the jack spheres that are going to be a real pain to get later on so we could take a little detour and go and do that Which I think is worth a try, you know? And yeah, we get more information. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Time for a little backtracking. And we get insight into Jekt, yes. Alright. Okay, recommends. We want to have Titus, because Titus can flee battles if we're just going to backtrack. Uh, let's get Yuna in here as well. Okay. Wait. Yeah? Jacked loved you. Oh, come on, please. <laughs> he just didn't know how to express it, he said. Hmm. Enough about my old man, okay? Yeah. I just thought you should know. Yeah, okay. That doesn't mean he wasn't terrible to him. Thanks. You know? Even if he even if he was able to say, you know, that he loved Titus. It's not how he acted. 
And that is important. Okay, so, backtracking. And now I think we can go this way. <laughs> ah! Ooh! A shiny... Shiny pathway. Oh, this is a this is a shortcut, I think. Also, hold on. There was um, Unigot and your Overdrive ability. Yeah, let's actually change it to that. Uh, pathway back to the entrance. I presume it's this one. Through the Thunder Plains. Okay, time for <laughs> time for a detour. Because we're going back to Besaid Village to start with. Oh no, ambushed. Okay. Uh... Ah, attack by throwing gill. Okay. Just a second, I'm gonna steal this. No, special flea. Live and let live! <laughs> Time to go. Don't! Okay, hold on. Uh... Alright, let's go. Ooh, preemptive strike, that's good. High potion. I'll be right back. <laughs> See ya. Okay. Yeah. This is fine because like the Jack Spheres will also give us insight. But we gotta go all the way back to Besaid for this. So this might take a minute, but that's okay. Well, not the first time we've done a little diversion. I'll be right back. Well, these fleas seems to be pretty reliable. The great backtracking begins. Exactly. Um, you know. Oh my god. Especially in this area with all of the various... There's so many... Okay. That won't go so easy on you next time! <laughs> This is where I miss having the times three speed. Oh, that might be might be a cheat I can enable. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's all right. Uh, I'll steal from you. I'll be right back. Don't. Right. It's interesting though. Yeah, someone mentioned like. There's a very, there is a sort of, yeah, uh, Final Fantasy VIII feeling to some of this. I'll be right back. Which is very true. 
I'm definitely picking up on that as well. The sort of weird time, you know, weirdness. Yes, the weird time weirdness. I'll be right back. Uh -huh. Oh. Tired of being struck by lightning? Feeling burnt out? Coming for a rest of the <laughs> travel agency. Oh, okay. Actually, is it worth resting? I think we're fine for now. I'll, I'll save that. Okay. This is the team the eight, the game the eight team got to work on right after finishing eight. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Yeah, because 9 was made by... Was it a different team? No, oh, it must have been. Yeah. Ah, the Hawaii studio. Right, 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 right. I'll be right back! Yeah, you can definitely see the sort of evolution of that kind of style. I think. We're kind of uh, reaching that sort of uh, that very uh, what's the word? A kind of storytelling that's very ambiguous and very unclear, um, which uh, I don't know. It's difficult to do well, I think. They've got a strong sense of character, that's never been the problem, but like the plot. I think this is doing, so far, I think this is doing a better job than 8 in that regard. But it does have kind of a similar feel where it's like, I'm not really sure what's going on. Live and let live. Things certainly felt a lot clearer in previous games, you know? And to be fair, like, the main goal is pretty straightforward here. Like, we have to defeat Sin. Okay, fine. In order to defeat Sin, we have to go through... We have, well, we have to try and uh, get all the summons and, you know, those various things. That won't go so easy on you next time. It's everything else that's going on. I guess the closest definite. I guess it's just the Hawaii studio. Yeah. Designation, man. Yeah. Oh my god, why is the encounter rate so high here? Just get a bunch of high potions. Live and let live. Oh my god. Yeah, the thing, the thing with this um, kind of storytelling, you know, where it's very... That won't go so easy on you next time! I mean, yeah, it's very vague, right? And there is a mystery that is being slowly unraveled, but also just the way it's told is very kind of slow and... <sighs> I don't know if it's metaphorical, but it's just kind of slightly cryptic and... That's all. Yeah, it is a bit metaphorical, you know. It's not as direct in its storytelling. And that's hard to do well. And also, you know, if you're losing people with that, um, 
Okay, let me let me just collect my thoughts a second. Ooh, hold on a sec. A steal from that chest. Yoink. Mega potion. Hell yeah. That won't go so easy on you next time. But I remember the thing with eight was basically like if your story is kind of weird and weak and just confusing like that. The only way uh, you need to have good characters in order to hold hold someone's attention, right? Oh, we got preemptive strike. Jerks. Um. I'll be right back. Basically, at least in Eight's case, if we didn't have uh, good characters. Oh, uh, at least in some level, I would have thrown that out. <laughs> I would have had a much harder time finishing it. And I'm getting the same kind of vibe here, to be to be honest, but less so. I think, or oh, stamina tablet. Interesting. The um, story right of back. story of ten at least seems like they're setting up an, in an intentional mystery. Yeah, they're doing a better job of it, but. I think it's. I think the the thing here is just the way it's delivered is a bit. It's that's kind of slow, not just slow drip feed, but just. I don't know. Uh, sorry, my brain is not braining at the moment. I'm trying to think of a way to phrase it. the shoe puff there we go we're backtracking yeah okay we're gonna go back to the high road No, I think this is the wrong way. So actually, since we're taking the long way back here, I also want to, I, I uh, thought about this the other day. I was going to mention, I realized I didn't actually properly talk about why it's like this. Um, but I do really, I, I do miss the overworld. And I know why it's not there for like technical reasons and so on. But the overworld, you know, having that abstraction of the overworld made, made the world seem bigger. And as it is, like Ten's world feels pretty small. That won't go so easy on you next time. Like when we crossed over the Thunder Plains, that was like two screens. It's like, oh, that's it. <laughs> two a few screens. It's like, oh, I guess that's, I guess that's all of the Thunder Plains. And because it's just very, very linear, like just go down this long, uh, this long stretch of road. That won't go so easy on you next time. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. No, we make such a long detour for this. I'll be right back. Yeah, I don't know if it is, because I don't. I mean, 11's an MMO, so it's not going to have that. I don't know if 12 is is going to do that. It's also that, like, up. it's funny because up until this point, the overworld, oh boy, uh, has been what I would consider, like, really, uh, a core part of the identity and feel of a Final Fantasy game. Like, that's what it's been like all the way from 1 to, to 8. Uh, sorry, 1 to 9, even. And this is the first time we're departing from that. That will go so easy on you next time. Yeah, at a non abstracted scale, right. Yeah. Come back. A bunch of remedies. I'll be right back. Okay. <sighs> yeah, so basically what we're doing here, yeah, we're making our way back to Besaid. Once we get to Besaid, then we're gonna work forwards and get all the um Jack Spears right back. going back, I think. <laughs> Something like that. So we're going all the way back. Uh, we gotta travel. Okay, so we're on the Josie High Road. Okay, time to go. You know what? I might actually fight these. Um, what can we? What can I make? I got some grenades in here. Thunderbolt. Cool. These drop ability spheres, so. <laughs> they also do that, which isn't great. They get they drop two ability spheres each time, so let's just keep going. Sword play. Spiral cuts on this one. How did I, how did I screw that up? Oh, whatever. 
Doesn't matter. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. It's fine. It's fine. Toof. Now that's what I call overkill. Loads of ability spheres. Definitely worth fighting those. Just a quick sphere grid. There we go. Okay. Back down the high road. Yeah, I mean, the thing, like, Final Fantasy has changed a lot over the years, so this is definitely just experiencing that change firsthand, because up until this point, there's been a lot of very, you know, there's been some common common things between them, you know, overworld being one of those things. Now we're starting to see more variation. So like I said before, like, um, you know, 9 was a throwback intentionally. Uh... Uh, certainly it's like, yeah, after 8, yeah. 9 is a throwback, and 10 was continuing to develop uh, what they had been, you know, continue, like moving forward, essentially. And every, and, you know, in, a, in any, like, I don't know, even a genre or a series, what you have is essentially a continual, um, you have a cycle of like construction, deconstruction, and reconstruction. So we have, you know, the uh, what to call it? The 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 media gets defined. Uh, then after a while, people start to ask. You know, well, what does it mean? You know, what? How much can we change this before it becomes not Final Fantasy again? You know, um, and then often what happens after that is like after sort of pulling apart the genre to see what uh, to, to see how it works or to experiment with it, That's it then those lessons get then get reincorporated into a version of a new version of the of the sort of original as it were it's it's just the 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 cycle of of media it happens with a lot of things okay we're not going to bother with this one i'll be right back but so it's interesting to see now now we've We've had that that defined thing up until this point, and now ten is moving in another direction. But like, which parts, which parts of these are load bearing? You know, which parts can we change? Yeah, and it's not like I like don't dislike ten at all, but I do feel I feel the absence of that overworld. It feels. It feels weird. It's like, oh, right, that's not a thing. That's We've had that for like nine games in a row. So it's just weird to have it gone. There we go. Right. I feel like the backtracking is just going to be the rest of the stream today. Honestly, that's fine. If I just spend the rest of this stream backtracking and then... Actually, I think I can go over here. Left side of the screen, yeah. Got 
ambushed. Live and let live. And then we'll, we'll go, you know, uh, look for Jack's fears afterwards. Okay, so it's the left side of the screen for something. Ah, right, this. so easy on you next time mm. yeah it can be when you come into something with well found you know with uh perceived notions and find that it's doing something else basically yeah we can climb up here we can go down here i think there are some shortcuts oh nice Bomb fragments. I'll be right back. Mm. But yeah, then we sort of just you just end up asking the question, what is a final fantasy? Because I know it's going to change even more as we go on. Live and let live. Like things are going to get very different. All right. Is mayonnaise Final Fantasy? No. <laughs> No, Patrick, mayonnaise is not a Final Fantasy. That won't go so easy on you next time. Mm. Let's go. Oh. This will be easy. I mean, we're gonna make a run for it, so yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> this will be easy. Bye. Okay, which way do we need to go? I think back. Just, just all the way back. Yeah, because we have to get back to the Meehan High Road. Then eventually we can get on a Chocobo at some point. Thank goodness. I think that's kind of overworld map sort of thing. I wonder. Would it be fair to say that that kind of, you know, go so easy on you next time. that fell out of fashion, you know, that was just that game stopped doing that in general, at least in the way the Final Fantasy does it. Hmm. All about a seamless experience. of what progress meant in video in games yeah mm. okay back we go can't write a joke about at this point but once we get back to the uh... once we get back to the rest stop we can Right, yeah, it's like, okay, yeah, games have to evolve into, you know, we can't keep making 2D side-scrollers, you know, that's old, that's, that's, you know, old school. We want something new. <laughs> I'll be right back. 
be right back. And generally that sort of thing of like, you know, 3D is more advanced and therefore better. And it's, it, I guess it's really only recently. Yeah, rich, yeah, photoreal environments, but yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it's only recently that that trend is being bucked, I think. In large part, in uh, my sort of armchair opinion. That will go so easy on you next time. In large part, well, there's a number of factors, but I also, I feel like the sort of rise of successful indie games, which often don't have that sort of thing because that's, you know, expensive and time consuming to, to make has proved that there is a market for, you know, continually pushing for the best and uh, shiniest new, you know, photorealistic graphics isn't necessary. Uh, isn't, or at least it isn't necessarily uh, guaranteed to, for the success or anything like that. And yeah, that's, the, yeah, it's only the thing, like, you can only really do that if you're a AAA dev, you know. You're one of the big, one of the big developers. But yeah, there's definitely that feeling of like, yeah. And you see it everywhere. Yeah, 3D TVs. Well, yeah, that was kind of doomed from the start because nobody, <laughs> nobody cares about that. I'll be right back. Yeah, that's the other factor. Red is like there are we're we're now hitting that sort of diminishing returns for for graphics, like those big leaps, like just going from two D to three D, like we saw with you know going from the SNES to the uh, PS One. That's not um, that kind of leap doesn't really seem to <laughs> no that's not happening anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna pop in here because I think there's a save in there. I'll put it on three. The Corey Bauer quote, the gaming industry is an analogous development of film where it's like three decades for a game. Okay, how do we make a video game? Yeah. Uh, yes, I would like to ride a chocobo, please. Uh, let's go. Bam, 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 bam. No more random encounters. Oh. Oh. Much better. Yeah, well, see what I meant. You see what I mentioned before about the construction, deconstruction, reconstruction cycle. But we're currently, you know, uh, by that framework, we're in a de we're in a deconstruction period uh, of um, of video games. I was like, but what actually is this? Like, how does this work? And when I say deconstruction, oftentimes the way you can figure out what something is or how it works is by, you know, you mess around with it. How much of this can we take away before it stops working? <laughs> before it stops being this thing? How much can I change this before it becomes not the thing anymore? And it turns out with video games, there's a huge amount of flexibility. Okay, so now we're back on the... <gasps> Doggos! Or cats, possibly? Anyway. Okay. And it's not like necessarily like it's always static. Oh, it's like deconstruction, then reconstruction, then construction. It can happen at different points and different, you know, different people and different things. And it's all a sort of wibbly wobbly, gamey wamey ball. <laughs> Alright, back to the docks. Yeah, I decided we're going to get back to Besaid today, and that's where I'll call it, and we'll work our way back forwards getting all the Jack Spheres starting tomorrow. So we got to go back to the docks. Yeah, technology is definitely a factor, yeah. Um... Uh, 
main gate. This way? Yeah. Not this one. Is it the other way? I'm trying to remember which way it is. Mmm. Right, yeah. Current gen PS5 Xbox using they they wanted more memory. Right. Now you can do that. Hmm. Mm, yeah, a lot of focus is on like you know, what was what was successful and technical, you know, achievements. Oh yeah, absolutely. Clever you know, clever stuff done. Don't necessarily hear about. Yeah. I, I, I know off the top of my head, I don't know, sorry, I don't know any off the top of my head, but I feel like that's definitely been a thing in the past where it's like, I feel like I've heard similar stories of people being like, you know, this is, this, um, this, this, uh, relatively unknown game, uh, does this wild, crazy thing to make this work or something, I don't know. Back to Killika, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the compression for Pokemon Gold allowed most of the entire extra game being fit on there. Yeah. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Um. Ah, oh, who was it? Iwata, thank you, Liam. Yeah, Iwata did that. Like, well, they were they were trying to do that, and they were like. Okay, we can't figure this out. And then Iwata, who is like a who not a developer at that point, he's the executive, and he's like, uh, "Let me fix this." <laughs> it's like, well, this is busted. Let me just. <laughs> okay, now we're back in Kit Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Speak to the lady on the docks. Yes, please. To Besaid. Ah. Oh. I say, this is making the world feel a little bigger given how much backtracking we've had to do. So I guess it is helping. Yeah. Oh no. Um, I would like to. Yes. Ah. Right. I might be able to get a sphere. So we need to go to the temple. Uh, if I get out of here, it'll be this way. <sighs> okay, <sighs> I'm gonna save. Actually, uh, yeah, I think we'll save it here and I'll call it for today because I am I'm still feeling a little bit tired. So I think we'll call it there. We'll we'll pick up the spheres tomorrow. We engage in sphere hunting as we work our way back to the Makalania woods. <laughs> and we can learn about the mystery that is Jekt, perhaps. Because I have had enough for today. Sphere Quest 2024. Yeah. Okay. Saved. Whoops. Oh, I was on the wrong <laughs> I was on the wrong wrong screen. Uh yes. There we go. Alright.
that's going to do it for today. So thank you all for tuning in. There's a lot of backtracking today, but I'm still I'm still having a good time. Um, yeah, we will continue tomorrow. Sphere quest. <laughs> and don't forget, there's the vods. Oh right, I am. So one thing I I will update when I have more information, but. Uh, the store, I should change the thing right now because currently the store is being migrated because uh, Stream Elements is migrating their stores to a different uh, service. So the store is not currently available, I think. Uh, so I'll let you know when I know more. But So never mind that link. There's also the socials and that's chat. Oh. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll be back tomorrow at the usual time. Um, uh, yeah, I need to go get some food. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye. Update. Ignore that thing about the... T hmm. Update soon. Bye.